Prying into prions. Investigating chronic wasting disease. Lesson 5. Oh, dear. Grades, 9 through 12. Duration, one or two 45-minute class periods. Illinois Learning Standards. Science, 11.a.4a, 11.a.5a, 12.a.4a, 12.a.4b, 12.a.4c, 12.a.5a, 12.a.5b, 12.b.4a, 12.b.4b, 12.b.5b. Summary. Students read an article that chronicles the discovery of chronic wasting disease and the disease's emergence as a public concern. They then compare the 14 domains of the prion protein sequence for 9 mammalian species and predict the susceptibility of each species to different prion diseases. This lesson is part of the unit Prying into Prions, Investigating Chronic Wasting Disease. It was developed by the Colorado Division of Wildlife and adapted to Illinois with their permission. This presentation is only a portion of the lesson. It will demonstrate the procedures for the activity. In order to successfully complete the lesson, you must obtain and use the entire lesson. This activity requires attention to detail. You may want to have two groups independently compare the prion sequences for each domain, or you may want to assign the activity as homework. Students may need to refer to Lesson 4 for additional information. The Prying into Prions, Investigating Chronic Wasting Disease DVD is available to teachers in Illinois by written request on school letterhead. Send your request to IDNR, Division of Education, 1 Natural Resources Way, Springfield, Illinois, 62702. Materials needed. Student pages, oh dear, one copy per student. Student activity pages, prion amino acid sequences by protein domain, one copy per student. Scissors, one pair per student. Give each student a copy of the student pages Oh Dear and Prion Amino Acid Sequences by Protein Domain and ask them to read the information. Review the content with the class. The easiest way to compare prion sequences is to separate the species in each domain and compare them in the pairs requested in the table. Let's do a couple of examples to get you started. You'll need to refer to page 86 for the key to species. Let's compare the signal domain for white-tailed deer and mule deer. From page 87, cut the signal section into strips by species. Place the ODO.HEM and ODO.BIR strips next to each other so that the letters representing the amino acids align. Count the number of differences in the letters. What did you find? For this example, there are no differences. Enter this information in the table on page 84. Now let's compare the signal domain for the house mouse and humans. Place the mus.mus and hom.sap strips next to each other so that the letters representing the amino acids align. Count the number of differences in the letters. What did you find? For this example, there are seven differences. Enter this information in the table on page 84. Continue this process until you have completed the table. Note, any amino acid not represented in both species you are comparing counts as a difference. Have students answer the questions on pages 83 through 86. Discuss their findings.